thank our veterans, but there are some people out there who are trying to take from our veterans. Two News Problem Solver Jamil Donna joins us now, and there are some schemes out there targeting veterans. That's right, Russ. Um, on this day that we are honoring our veterans, the Problem Solvers and the Federal Trade Commission really want to empower our veterans to fight fraud. Now, some common schemes that target veterans are charities that claim to give back to the military. The FTC says that just because veteran or military family is in the organization name, that doesn't mean your donations go there. There's also identity theft. Veterans should be on the lookout for mistakes on medical or financial statements. And to reduce the risk of identity theft for act active military service members who are deployed can put an active duty alert on their credit reports. And there's also veterans pensions. Fraudsters will offer veterans free help with pension claims. This is to get vets to transfer assets or invest in insurance products, claiming this will qualify them for aid and attendance benefits. However, aid and attendance benefits are never granted automatically, and the qualifications are very specific and strict. Now we have links to tons more consumer information as well as advice for our vet veterans and families on our website at kjrh.com. Back to you, Russ. Uh, Jamil, thanks. You know, Tulsa's